And we start tonight at 11 with Northeast Ohio's first big snowfall of the year, taking a toll on so many in Cleveland. Hopkins Airport confirming the massive snowstorm canceled more than two dozen flights Sunday and more than 40 Monday. It's the first big challenge, too, for millions of dollars in new high-tech snow removal equipment at the airport. Live on your side, investigator Joe Paganakis breaks down its three-day battle. Even though Northeast Ohio had a significant thaw on Wednesday, you can still see plenty of snow mountains out here at Hopkins International Airport, leaving some who suffered through flight delays on Monday wondering how the Hopkins snow removal effort will fare as the winter wears on. Video at Hopkins International Airport during the snowstorm on Monday, looking more like a surrealistic alien winter landscape as a caravan of high tech snowplow trucks worked in tandem to clear runways. New snow blowing equipment sent snow towering 20 to 30 feet into the air. I told my son, like, it can't get any worse. It, we just had a big delay. We'll get home. No big deal. Steve Kelly of North Ridgeville was just trying to get home with his son from the Steelers Chiefs game Sunday night. After multiple delays in Charlotte, they were stuck on the tarmac at Hopkins for three hours with American Airlines trying to find them a gate. He just kept coming on every half hour telling us that there was no update. <laughs> Steve says delays in getting a gate and at baggage claim cost him several hours, but he says... The clearing the runway, absolutely fine. I, I have no problem with that. Cleveland Commissioner of Airports Khalid Baher told News 5 more than a dozen new pieces of snow removal equipment, including new all-in-one trucks that can plow, blow, and sweep snow, gave his team the flexibility this year to remove snow more quickly from runways. Sometimes, uh, you know, we broom the airfield. Um, we, we have the ability to plow it. We have the ability to apply chemicals and sand. Hopkins releasing the latest snow removal data showing the 10 inch snow event at the beginning of the week, January 16th through January 18th, took 46 hours to clean up, while a 5.1 inch snow event on February 15th and 16th in 2020 took more time, 48 hours to clear. Still, Hopkins stresses safety will always be its most important performance measurement. Our operations office continually does friction testing on the runways to make sure that the aircraft are landing safely and departing safely. And News 5 reached out to American Airlines to get its side of the story concerning flight delays at the gate on Monday, but we're still waiting for a response. Reporting from Hopkins International Airport, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganak.